Okay, let's take a look at how you might want to uh, access these articles that you find. So uh, mainly email, printing, saving, that sort of thing. What I've done is I've searched in EBSCO, Academic Search Complete. You can see that I have that listed here. And I've searched for dogs anywhere as a keyword, and I've done animal assisted therapy as a subject. I have 29 results. These are all limited to uh, full text and scholarly peer reviewed journals. So that's my basic search now. What I want to do is I want to uh, look at some of these articles. I may want to email them to myself. I may want to print some out. If you want to print out a single article just by itself, means that's the only one you're interested in, what you can do is you can scroll down and, and click on the PDF or the HTML full text option. HTML are just, it's just words on a page. They've converted from the actual article. A PDF will be a scan of the article. I won't open those up necessarily uh, right now. I'll show you that in just a, a minute. What I want to do also is talk to you about if you want to look at more than one article. So of these 29, maybe there are several that look of interest to you. You can add them to this little folder. It's sort of like adding things to a shopping cart when you shop online. And so you scroll through and you add a few things as you go along. You say, that's good, that's not good. And when you're finished, where do you normally go to uh, check out when you're online at a store? You go up to the top. So here we have a folder or a shopping cart, so to speak. And you can click on that folder it will show you all the items that you've placed in your folder. In this case, I have four of them. They are all full text. I can select them all. And then over to the right, I can click on email. I can, uh, when I do that, it will send me a PDF or an HTML full text version of all the articles I have uh, available in my folder. So I submit my email, give it a subject, and I click on send. Before I do so, I can also select the citation format I would like. We default to MLA because that's the most commonly commonly used, but APA is also another option. If we go back to our previous page, and let's say we just want to look at a single article, I can click on the PDF, open up that article, and what it does is it opens up Adobe Reader within my browser, and I see that there's a print option available within the Adobe Reader. That is the button you want to select. If you click on the print icon to the far right, it will just print the citation, not the actual article itself. So click within Adobe, right there. The same thing happens if you want to save the article. You would click on this download button within Adobe. You would click uh, open a, a box and you can download it to your computer. Those are the options for emailing, printing, and saving. So enjoy and have fun.